to just we have discussed uh, the overview of uh, data matching concepts. Okay, so this is an example. So when you are merging the data, what is the criteria that is required? Uh, so here uh, it, de it depends upon the type of uh, data that you are uh, reading, the type of data where you are reading from a file or a table. So whenever it is a similar structure, we need to make sure that uh, metadata layout is same. Okay. So for example, when you are handling with similar, similar structure, so what I have mentioned, I have mentioned two files should uh, have the same metadata layout. For example, if it has any location issue, I mean like one of the column, is a different name. So whenever the, whenever the column is different name, so what we can do is we need to rename uh, before funneling that particular data. So before uh, merging that data. Okay. So now let's see a possible uh, example cases. So for a similar uh, similar structure. So okay. So these are the two files. Let me copy to our source folder. Okay, so here you can see this is a file one and this is a file two. So in file one and file two, what is the main difference here? We have totally each record has uh, four records and including had a total five are there. Okay, so here, so what is the difference here? Key main difference. So as I told you to merge the data, uh, whenever it is a approximately similar structure, so what we need, what we need to consider, all the columns should be same. Okay, so here, whenever the column name is different, okay, so whenever the column name is different, we need to rename the column name before merging these two tables, two files, two tables are files. Okay, so now let's see how we can do this uh, assignment. Okay, so this is a basic sample data I have considered. So let's connect to data stage. Few more people needs to join. Double click on designer. So here uh, we have five delimiter files. So both are five delimiter files. So what we can do, we can use which stage we can use. What is the suitable stage that you can use to extract the data from source? Can anyone of you tell me? So we have a text files here. Both are text files. So what is the preferable uh, stage to read the data? From source. What will be the preferable stage to read the data from a sequential file? So this is a file actually. So what is the stage that we can use? Like what is the question? Oh. Okay, so here I have two files. So this is the file one and this is the file two. Sequential file. So what is the stage that we can use to extract the data? We can use two sequential files. Yes, exactly. You can use the two sequential files. Okay, so for example, if input uh, files, we have three means we need to consider three input sequential files. So at present we have only two, 
just drag and drop two sequential files on the job palette window. So job canvas window. Okay, so this is the job canvas window, this is the repository, this is a palette. So palette is all the information, uh, I mean, the tools are available, respective processing stages, active, active stages and passive stages are available to do the, to fulfill the data acquisition. Okay, so here we are merging this uh, two table, uh, two files data into a single output file. Okay, so here what we can do, so we can use funnel. Okay, so here to funnel the data across all the input files, what is the criteria is required? Metadata layout is same. Okay, so now let's make a connectivity. So target also I'm considering file, okay? So while you are practicing, so some people are facing challenges, sometimes the database won't connect, okay? So if that is the case, always uh, consider sequential file as a, your target, just to understand the concepts and flow, okay? So just you should have an idea how to connect to database, how to read the data from a database, how to write the data, into database, if you have that basic knowledge, that, that will be enough to crack the interview, okay? So now let's uh, <coughs> make a connectivity. Right click, drag and drop. So this is file one. File one. And this is file two. So we should rename the File name, file two. Okay. This is funnel one, FNL, FNL, FNL means funnel one. First file, FNL two. Funnel one, funnel two. Yeah. Now double click on first fun, uh, first uh, input file. So go to browse, go to respective directory C drive. What is our uh, what is your source directory? What is our source? It says source folder. C drive source. Okay, so file one, funnel, file one, click on okay. So here, uh, as we seen in the file, we have a header, right? First line is a header, okay? Even similarly for uh, file two also, okay? So we have a header. Okay, so true and rest of the options uh, as default that we have discussed earlier. So coming to the format, delimiter is five and we don't have any double quotes and we're not handling any nulls because it's a sample data. Here, there is no null data yet. Okay, so I'm not considering the null handling here. Now go to columns. So here, since we have three columns, we can enter uh, uh, metadata uh, manually. Okay, so now let's uh, import the metadata. Entering metadata manually is not uh, suggestible. Okay, so we have to follow the process like import the table definition for a file or for a data set or a file set for a table, whatever it may be. So ours is a sequential file, go to table definition, import table definition, then click on sequential file definition, then click on that. And here directory, we have to go to our source directory, where our particular file is located, C drive source. Okay, 
and you need to make sure what type of a file it is. Here it types, uh, it supports .txt file and .csv file. If it is other than file, you have to select the option all files. Okay. So, and then next is we have to go to the uh, our file. So, this is the one. Click on import. Go to that file, click on import. And so, out of the delimiter file, right? So, first line is a header. And you need to check whether what is our delimiter. So, our delimiter is pipe, right? So, both the files having the delimiter as pipe. Okay. So, if it is other delimiter, we have to mention the pipe. Click on define. So, let's define the displayed length. So why we dis, why we consider uh, default uh, displayed length is because to avoid the spaces and all. Okay. So displayed length is uh, one, and this is the default length. System defined length. If it is integer, it will give ten, and if it is a var care, it will give by default as two fifty five. But we don't need two fifty five uh, length. So as per the data as so it has done a quick data profiling. So here, the length uh, for the number column, the length is one. And for name and location, those two are worker fields. So for the name, it has given six. Uh, it has uh, suggested six. Mention the same. And 10. OK. So, for example, in case of in future, maybe we'll receive a length of uh, more than 10 or 20. So, in that case, what, what we can do? So, based on your uh, uh, other, I mean, prediction, uh, we can uh, suggest the length. You can keep the length how we want, like 15, 20 and all. Okay. So, let's keep uh, 10 for the name and location. And for... <laughs> Number, uh, let's keep two. Okay. Now click on okay. Now again, uh, import the table definition for file two. The same thing, five delimiters, first line is header. Click on this, go to define, give length to, for the name and location, consider 10. So, based on the data, you can uh, change the length accordingly. Okay. So, in real time, now we have to consider the future, uh, in, uh, future data that we are going to receive. So, if you use work here, no, that is a safer side. For example, if it is, if you consider 20 and uh, daily basis, uh, we are receiving the input string uh, data volume, I mean, data length uh, bit, between uh, 10 to 15. So what happened if you use worker, uh, the free space remaining five bytes, that will be freezed out. So that will be saved. So if you use care means entire uh, length will be occupied. Okay. So now click on, uh, Okay, so here LOC is there. Okay, now click on okay. Yeah, now click on close. Now we can see this uh, two files. Let's click on the file one, click on okay. And let's view the data. Okay, so here we are able to view the data. Now click on close. Again, click on okay. Let's define second file. Okay, so go to respective directory. So this is a file to click on that. And uh, first line we have header. Okay, so here uh, delimiter is pipe. And double quotes, I don't have any double quotes. 
Now let's click on load. File to we already imported the table, table definition. Now click on OK. Click on view data. Okay, two, four, six. Yeah, we are able to view the data. Now click on close. Click on OK. So whenever if you made in some changes, no. So in the development, you have to click on OK. If you click on cancel, what happens means what and all changes you did that will be gone. Now click on OK. So the next step is double click on funnel stage. So as I told you, it has multiple input links and single output link. Input links are n. N means unlimited. And output links are only one. Okay. So what is the criteria? Metadata should be common. Okay. So to do the funnel activity, metadata should be common across all the input links. Okay. So now we'll double click on uh, funnel stage. See here uh, the type of funnel. So yesterday we have discussed continuous funnel, sequence funnel, and sort funnel. So continuous funnel in the sense it will pick the data from the input data input uh, files are a table and randomly it will uh, extract the data and load it into destination place. Okay, so now let's move to input. So location file if you see here file two has LOC file one has location. Okay, so let's move on to output. Here it considered only two columns. What is the reason it considered only two columns? Can uh, anyone has an idea, idea? So input we have three columns, right? Column three. has different name, no? So that's why it shows so yes, match yes, columns. Exactly. Name. Exactly. So if you see here, the column name is different. Here LOC is there in file two. In file one, we have location. So that is the problem here. So we need to make sure. We need to rename the column name. So then what we can do? We can use transformer stage for renaming the column name. So drag and drop transformer stage. Okay. So now let's make a connectivity. We can also use copy stage to like rename oh, the yeah. column. Yes, yes, yes. Suppose if you want to perform any other uh, transformations. Okay, so then uh, transformer stage is suggestible. So now double click on transform stage, map the input to output. So I have renamed the link names, okay. So drag and drop. So here we can give location, that's it. Okay, now click on okay. Now double click on funnel uh, stage, go to input, output. Now you can see here three columns. Okay, so now column names, column names uh, are matched. Now we can see here, three, funnel one, funnel two. So there is no change. Column names are equal. Okay, so you need to make sure before coming to funnel stage, the layout should be common. Okay, so one common layout as per the output expected uh, file. Okay. So now click Control A, drag and drop to funnel input to output. Okay. So now click on OK. Now double click on target sequential file. Define the file name. Define the file name. Go to browse. 
go to target. This is the target. So funnel. Funnel continuous. Dot txt. Okay. So first line trade dress uh, header. Double quotes. I don't want any double quotes. Let it be comma separated file. Click on OK. Yeah, so we have complete the job design. So here uh, I'm considering continuous funnel. So continuous funnel in the sense there is no order. Okay, so now let's save this job. Go to jobs, March, assignment 31. Unfair. We'll compile the job. Job got compiled successfully. Now run the job. You can see here four records from file one and four, four records from file two. So totally eight records okay so now let's see the output target so this is our file okay so here uh, data has been extracted randomly and uh, placed it in uh, respective destination place okay so this is about uh, continuous funnel. This is about continuous funnel. Now let's uh, discuss about six, uh, sequential funnel. So I will rename the job so that we can uh, save the time. Save as. Okay. So this is. Sequence funnel. This thirty two, click on save. So, here uh, the criteria is you need to change here the funnel type to sequential. That's it. So, rest of the mapping is same. Okay, click on OK. Okay, save, compile, and run this job. Let's check the input data also. Yep. Yeah, job got completed. Now let's see in the target. Okay. So this is our target. 
file one and file two and target. Okay. So here first, so records are getting uh, swapped here. Why? So first two records you can see here it is from the file one. First and one record file one loaded and uh, sequ sequential file one. Next sequential file two loaded. Again yeah. come back to sequence. So one by one sequence. See, there it, first. It, yeah. It is following the sequence order only. Okay. So because of, because of this uh, two node, so system is uh, defaultly running this two nodes, right? So because of this nodes, uh, data being uh, uh, extracted like that. Okay. So now if you run the job in one node, then you will come to know how this, uh, how it beha behaves. Okay. So I will close it to, I will close this file, target file. Let me open. So I will change it to one node here. Okay. Add environment variable, apt config file. For creation file. So here system uh, is by using default one. Okay, so here uh, use one node. So click on OK, click on OK. OK, so now save, compile, and run this chip. Yep, that is running. Yeah, now let's uh, view the data. Okay. You can see here. So all the first file data got extracted first, then uh, second file data got extracted. Okay, so it is following the sequence order. It is following the sequence order. So any questions here? Any questions? Hello? Yes, no. Yes, Nasima. Yeah, clear. Clear. Okay, okay. So, what about others? Only few people are answering. Uh, no questions, sir. No questions. Okay, Mahesh. Sir, no. Okay. Yeah, we are good. Raviteja joined the class, no? Okay. So now let's move on to the same scenario, how to use uh, sorting. Okay. So let me close all these things. Now we have discussed continuous funnel and the sequence funnel. One more uh, funnel that is pending is 
sort funnel. Okay, so save as this job. So sort funnel is nothing but based on the key column, it will sort the data. Okay, so the order what you define accordingly, it will sort the data. Now click on uh, save. So double click on funnel stage. So here uh, sort funnel. So when you sort funnel, sort funnel now, automatically it is asking what is the key field. So if you want to sort the data, you have to provide the key column, any key column in data stage. Okay. So here let's uh, start with the number so that we can understand. So here uh, I'm considering now, as of now, in ascending order. Okay. So if there is any case sensitive, you need to consider that null position, first or last. Okay. And other one is sort as CB. C, C, D, I, C. So this we have discussed earlier. Okay, so there is a recorded video in YouTube. We can follow that. I will share that video. So I don't have any null data. Cancel that. So we are sorting the data in ascending order. Okay. So now click on OK. Save compiler. Okay. So you can see here, it is started in which order, ascending order only, right? Okay, so now I will uh, change it to descending order. I change it to descending order. Do the data. It starts with eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So data has been sorted in descending order. Okay. So any questions on uh, funnel stage? So most in real time now, so most commonly by default will be used continuous funnel only. So why we use continuous funnel? The purpose of uh, continuous, we use continuous funnel is it will improve the performance of the job. Because 
when you in real time we are dealing with uh, high volume of data combining the multiple source data to a single output file okay so if you put some restrictions like a sort funnel or a sequence funnel there will be a little delay okay so get the data loaded into target system so by default for best practice we will use continuous funnel only so when you use continuous funnel performance of the job will be improved okay yeah now let's move on to join join stage so why what is the criteria to do the join activity so join stage join uh, look up and match these and all comes under dissimilar structure so what is meant by dissimilar structure so yesterday we have discussed different matter data like yeah different, different matter yeah it comes from the structures. Yes, yes. So here in my input, I have eight columns. One file has eight columns. Another file has, I have only three columns. Okay. But I need to merge those two, uh, two files. Okay. So whenever uh, metadata is different, okay, five columns, three columns in, uh, five co uh, eight columns in example, uh, for example, eight columns in uh, file one we have. In file one, we have eight columns. Okay. So in file two, we have three columns. File one, we have eight columns. So file two, we have three columns. Okay. So how to combine these two files? What is the criteria that is required? Criteria is required is at least one common column name should be there. At least, at least one common column should be there in both the files. Okay, so whenever common column is there and metadata Data type also, metadata, data type also should be, data type should be same, should be same, okay? Okay, so here in our example, we will consider employee versus DEPT table. Okay, so employee has eight columns, DEPT has three columns. Okay. And let's take a sample exercise. So we have employee file, but we don't have a DEPT file. So DEPT file, you need to bring from the files for practice. We have a department, first, first one, first 10 one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Placed it in uh, source point. Okay. So this is our uh, DEPT file. Okay. So we are considering this example and uh, employee file is pipe delimiter. We will consider. Okay. So click on close these two files.
So now let's take a back up, click on new. We need two input uh, files, right? Two sequential files. We need it. Okay, so giant stage has uh, unlimited input links. Okay, so in that un unlimited input links, one left link and right link. Okay, so here you can see unlimited input links. In that one is left link, another one is right link. The two are mandatory. And the rest of the links are intermediate links, unlimited intermediate links. For example, uh, I have uh, four files. Okay, so four files as an input. Four, four files as input. So in that four files, one is left link, that is compulsory it will take, and one is right link. Okay. Right link. So four minus two, how much? Four minus two is two. So two links are intermediate links. Intermediate links. Okay. So here intermediate links we can consider as unlimited. Unlimited. So there is no limit actually unlimited intermediate links okay unlimited number of uh, intermediate links as an input okay so in this example we are considering only uh, two files we will see the assignment also with uh, another file okay so now let's see now let's make a connect right click drag and drop Right click, drag and drop. Right click, drag and drop. So this is EMP data. Link, LNK, EMP data. And similarly here, <laughs> sequence, DEPT, data. Okay. LNK, DEPT, data. Okay. So here, LNK, join output. Okay. And target sequential. Giant EMP DEPT. Okay, so now let's uh, define employee file. So here I'm going a little bit faster so that we can save time. Go to source EMP pipe. So this we have defined already, right? So that is the reason I'm going a little fast here. Okay. So first line we have header to set that one through. And uh, delimiter is pipe, pipe delimiter. And I don't have any double quotes. I will hand the nulls. Okay. Single space, twice. And report the. Table definition. So it is there. Click on OK. Click on OK. And let's uh, view the data. So here you can see, you can view the data, right? Now click on close, now click on okay. Now double click on department uh, sequential file. 
map the input file. So DEPT, DEPT. Yeah, this is the one. So consider first line as a header. It's there already. So delimiter is pipe. And uh, we don't have any null columns here. So anyway, define nulls. So let's import the table definition. We don't have a DPT. Okay. So import table definition, sequential file definition. The EPT import. First line is a header. Then the so profile length is ten. Consider ten. Now let's view the data. So here, four records are there. Click on plus. Click on OK. Now double click on join stage. So here, what is the criteria I told? One common column name. So automatically will come here, common column name. OK. So in case if the column name is not same, so then we have to rename how we have done in uh, funnel access. OK. And uh, common column name should make. And we need to join with that. Uh, uh, column between these two input uh, files. Okay, so here de department number is the common column name, and if it is a case sensitive, we need to set it to true. If it is not case sensitive, just ignore that. And we have the different types of uh, giants here: giant stage supports, inner giant, left outer giant, right outer giant, and full outer giant. So inner giant is nothing but the matched records that we will receive from the two input files from all the input files. So we have defined two, minimum two input files required, right? So giant stage will extract only matched data. Okay. Uh, so left, uh, left outer, right outer, full outer. Now let's see that. So, so this is the table layout. Okay, so which is left table and which is the right table that you want to define. So here I'm considering Employee table is the left table and department table is the right table. Okay, so you need to adjust like this. Which one should be employee table and which one to be the uh, which one to be the left table and which one to be the right table. So here I'm considering left table as employee table and right table as DEPT table. Okay, so now let's go to output. Because this output, uh, how the linking order you define, no? so accordingly the data uh, that will be displayed in the output. We need to make sure as per the business, you should uh, left table always be a, mostly in real time now we'll be using left outer giant. So that will be the main driving table, okay? So we need to make sure which is your left table. Yeah, now let's move to output. So control A, drag and drop. Okay, so here you can you have, you have seen this department name and location also. And we have common column name that is department number. So, okay, so the, by default, it will take from the left table, left driving table. Okay, so left table, 
department number it has been considered okay so now click on okay mapping is done so we have to mention the target file target file name So join in a dot txt. Consider the first line as the header true. Save this job. So it says that before join in up. Okay. Click on save. Compile the job. And run the job. Let's view the data. So here 14 records only the matched records. So from employer table, we are receiving 15 records and department table, four records. So matched records are uh, 14 only. So now let's see that. Let's see the output. This is the employee. This is the department. Okay. So you can see here uh, in the output department number 10, 20, and 30. Okay. So in employee table, we have. Uh, Department number 50. Okay, so rest of the department numbers are 20, 30, 10, 20, and 30, and 50 is there. In DEPT, we have 10, 20, 30, and 40. So here, 40 in DEPT, 50 from EMP got dropped off. So what are the matched department numbers? 10, 20, and 30. So you can check here. 10, 20, and 30. So inner giant will extract only the match data. Okay. So is it clear? Any questions here? Yes, clear, Jesse. Okay. So what about others? Um, so I need uh, those two rejected records in another table. So rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we yeah. So that? how to handle uh, giant rejects? That we will discuss. Okay. So this is one of the common interview question. Uh, in case of unmatched data is there, I want to send it to rejects. Okay, so that we will discuss in upcoming exercise. Okay, now close this. Now here I will change the joint type. Save as. Left outer joint. You can't save. Um, okay. So now double click on giant states. Just you need to mention the left outer giant. 
so which is the left table so left table is employee table so left table is employee table means matched records from left table and unmatched records from the left table data that will be displayed in the output so what is the unmatched record here in the left table emp emp has department number 8th record emp has department number 50 is the unmatched record it's not matching with dept that record also will be extracted to the output now let's see that now click on input uh, output tab okay so here dept has taken from left table only so that is the employee table okay so here joint type i used left outer joint okay so here left table left table is employee table match records from uh, both the tables and unmatched records from the left table also will be displayed in the output okay so now click on okay so here i will change the file name Here 15 records came. Why? Unmatched records also. It is moving to the destination place. Let's view the data. So here uh, there is no records for uh, 50. So department number 50 is not there in DEPT, right? So it is unmatched records from the EMP table. Okay, so that is the reason here department name and location are blank. So how many records are there from the left table? All the records will be reflected in the output. So we have, we are receiving 15 records and all these 15 records are loaded into target. Okay, so there are some matched records and there are some unmatched records. Those unmatched records also will be displayed in the target. So earlier we have used inner join, right? So inner join, only one record is not matched. Okay, so out of 15, one record is not getting matched. Only 14 records are matched records. So that is the reason earlier we have 14 records as the output. Okay, so now we have 15 records. The reason is we, have, we are using left table left outer giant and uh, the left table is employee table. What are the records are there from the left table? All the records will be loaded into destination place. Okay. So this is about uh, left outer giant. So any questions here? Is it clear? Because this giants, funnels and uh, lookup, but these are very, very important concepts. Yeah, clear, yes, no issues. That is the reason I'm going a little bit slow. Someone is saying something. No, no issues. No issues. Yeah, clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, clear. Right. okay. So now, uh, now we will work on right outer giant. Same job. Right. Out again. Click on save.
So here join type I am changing here to write order join. Okay. So so here write order join means write table. So write table is DEPT table, right? Unmatched records from DEPT table will be displayed in the output. If you see here, it is it is department uh, number it is considering from DEPT only. The reason is we, we are using a write outer join. Okay, so write table is DEPT, right? So that is the reason department number is considering from the DEPT. Okay, so now let's map this. That's it. Okay. So now let's click on okay. Let's just change the file name here. Click on okay. Now save, compile, and run this job. So what is the unmatched record in DEPT 40? So that 40 will be displayed in the output. Matched records 10, 20, and 30. And 40 is the unmatched record in DEPT. So that will be displayed in the output. So here we have 50 rate EMP. So that will be dropped off. OK, so now let's see the output. So here you can see 40 is from DEPT table. So we don't have data in EMP, right? So that is the reason RR blank, commission, salary, hire date, reporting manager ID, and job name and employee number is blank. No employees are there in uh, department member 40. Okay, so that is the reason here, it's a blank. So 40 is a unmatched record from DEPT table. 40 is a Unmatched record from the DEPT table. Okay. <laughs> so, any questions here? Yes. So now the next uh, join is full outer join. So full outer join in the sense like what? So match records from both the tables and unmatched records from both the tables all will be displayed in the output. So here we have one, one unmatched record in DEPT. And similarly, we have unmatched records in EMP. So totally match records are 14 and two unmatched records. OK. Now, Save this particular job. Save. Okay, save compiler on this job. One second. So here we have not changed. So giant app is full outer giant. Okay. Now it will take uh, from both the tables. 
department number because of full out join it will consider from both the table okay so just uh, drag and drop okay so now click on okay so left table department number right table department number both will consider now click on okay Save compiler on. So, what will be the expected uh, records as out? Fourteen records are matched and two are unmatched. So, total sixteen records will be the expected output for uh, full outer chain. See here, sixteen records. Why sixteen? Fourteen are matched. So that we have seen in inner join and the left outer, right outer as one, one unmatched records, 14 plus one, one, 14 plus two. So that will be 16. Okay. So now let's uh, view the data. So here you can see here. So there is one record 40 is not un, not matched. Okay. And here in uh, 50. In result search, it's showing blank Y. Previously it's shown uh, null values. Now it's showing blanks. Uh, on 50th record, I'm saying about 50th records. Okay. Yes, yes. Previously, so the reason so is, yeah, yeah. Here in EMP, nullability we have not handled. Okay. So here we have handled the nulls. Okay. So here now I will uh, set the nullability as yes. Okay, click on okay, because of that. Let me delete uh, all the columns and remap it again. So nullability we have set in DEPT table as uh, no. Now I have set it to yes. Okay. So EMP has all our nullability as yes I have taken. EPT earlier I set it to no, now I have set it to yes. Okay, so in the output we have nullability is yes. now let's uh, rerun the job again. Let's view the data. Now, earlier it was blanks, right? Now you can see here it is having null. Okay. If you handle uh, nullability, set it to no, no, then it will display as a blank record. So, no data is there like that. So, we are considering null. So, that is null handling. Okay. So, here's total 16 records are there. Okay. So, now how to separate the data? Suppose I have a requirement here, like how to handle the rejected data in, uh, in joint stage. So rejected data in the sense like what? So unmatched data. Okay, so here all the matched data should go to one output file. And whatever the records unmatched here from the right table. So that has to go to one output file. Here, whatever unmatched records from the left table that should go to 
one output file. How we can handle that? So this is the example that we, this is the resultant that we got from the full outer chain. So what is, what will be the next stage that we can use to get this uh, relevant output? So all the match records should go to one output file and left table unmatched records should go to one output file and right table unmatched records should go to one output file. So what will be the next uh, stage that we can use to get this uh, output? Transform stage we can use. Yes, you can use transformer or you can use filter also. So already I have made it a recorded video by using transformer. Yes, filter also you can use. Yeah, you can use filter also. So already recorded video is there in uh, YouTube channels. So I have used their uh, uh, transformer. Okay, so now in this assignment, uh, I will consider filter. Okay, so let's save this assignment. Loader join, uh, join stage rejects. Okay. On Just we need to view the output. Just a minute. Yeah. Okay. So here next we need to use uh, filter. Go to processing stage filter. Sorry, this external filter. Okay, and let me use when we will use external filter. Let's uh, suppose if you want to search a, a pattern in a file. Suppose user has sent a file to you and uh, he don't know where the data is exactly. He want to search a pattern. With that pattern, wherever those uh, records are there, with that pattern, all the records should be extracted and loaded it into one file. If that is the requirement, you can use external filter stage. Okay, so we this is matched records. And this is left table, left unmatched.
So this is right unmatched. Right table unmatched records. Okay. So here also I will change the link name. on this on, uh, filter stage. So here, <laughs> so what is the match criteria here? So match criteria left uh, department number should not be null. Left uh, left record, left uh, table department number, right table department number should not be null. Okay. So let's take a copy of this. is not null and can use and here and similarly so in where class how we will write uh, sql statement now the same way we can write in filter okay write table is not null okay so that is a criteria and uh, linking order is it starts with zero Linking order. Okay. And the next one is so the next one, next condition is left table unmatched records. So left table unmatched records in the sense what? So left table unmatched records in the sense right table should be null. Right uh, outer giant should be null. Okay, so here right outer joint is null. So this is the unmatched record, right? 50 is the unmatched record in the left table. So what we need to write here? Again, where class? Is null. That is null data. And linking order, one. Okay, so and write out write table uh, rejected records. So here what we can write table if it is write table means so this should be null. Write table unmatched record is party right. So that should be left table uh, department number should be null. So this is the one. Okay, so here this is the one. This we have already applied. Now we need to consider this this portion. Okay. So what we can do here? Go to input. This is null. This should be null. Okay. is null and output linking is to 0 1 2 and so here we are not uh, handling any rejects so let it be false so even this this also will be false only okay so we want to enter uh, the multiple matched records right so that is the reason i have set it to false as default Okay, so we have defined the cases. Yeah, now drag and drop, input, output, match, match records, left table, control E, drag and drop, control E. Click on OK. Now mapping is done. Now save compiler on this step. 
So we need to. So we have to mention the file name. It is throwing compilation error. Finally, the nulls as well. Click on OK. So this is left and main. Go to the respective directory. Matched records, it won't allow null values. No? Uh, uh, uh. Matched records, it won't allow uh, null values. Yeah, yeah. You can ignore that. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So in case uh, not giant fields, other fields having null spins, uh, then we, we can consider them. If you want to define, you can define, otherwise you can uh, ignore. Okay, so here I'm ignoring. Click on okay. And similarly, this is right unmatched. Right. So here also not in handling the nuts. You want to define you can define there is nothing wrong click on okay now see on this job So here, put in matched records. Now let's uh, view the output. See here, all our matched records only. Okay. This one. So now let's view the output in the file itself. So left. Oh, okay. I have not forgot to mention dot txt. Okay. So here you can see uh, right table uh, unmatched records 40. Okay. So here uh, we didn't receive the data. Okay. So let me rerun the job. So I have not defined the file name properly. So that is the reason it has thrown an error. Now,
anlıyor. something var missing So let's uh, view the log. Put zero records, zero records on the team logo. What correct only where is the English to know? Left means right uh, department number should be in null. Okay, so is null worth considering? Let me define it again. this one okay let's play around the job again now we will do one thing if this is the issue so we are unable to trace it the record right so here we can use uh, 
peak stage okay so this we have discussed earlier so in output not matched so netto output click on okay now we can study the log in the peak so we will consider all the records set it to true click on okay now run the job so we will write this uh, record is getting rejected So let's open a direct run check. So what, whatever the record that is coming, it is getting rejected. So let's see that. So we can open director tool in the Go to tools, run director. So it will open here, just a minute. So at the field D name, export nullability field without null handling properties. So D name and location has export nullability field without null handling properties. So due to this nulls, it is getting rejected. So click on OK. Now let's run the job again. Now you can view the data. Okay, so now we are able to view the unmatched records from the left table. Okay. So whenever if you define nullability properties is yes here. So we have to define in the target also the same null handling. So here that is the reason I have given, I have handled the nulls. Okay. So any questions here? So what about others? So this is the way to handle the rejects in uh, join stage. So this is one of the common entry question. Okay, so you can refer this. I mean, you can refer this job as a prototype. So already recorded video is there in YouTube channel with I have uh, I used uh, transformer stage there. So now in this access, I have used switch. Sorry, a filter. Okay, so we can use either transformer or uh, filter stage. Okay. Yeah, so now how to read the data for a multiple files? Just a two minutes.
how to read the data for a multiple. Suppose, as of now, we have uh, discussed only whenever data that we received only two or uh, two files. So if if you receive join with more than uh, one file, so here uh, I will use input as a database. Okay. Make a connectivity. Into, so you can use file as well. Okay, so see it. Here, write a statement. Select SQL statement, select star from EMP where something department number is equal to 10. Click on OK. the data. Key records, department number 10, okay. So click on OK. Now in joint stage, just uh, you need to consider intermediately. OK. So we have to define which is intermediate link. OK. Yeah, multiple input links, right? Now save, compile, and run this chart. is not allowed input when then property. Oh, okay, okay. So when you were using uh, more than uh, more than one input file, so full outer join is not allowed. Okay. So we have to use uh, either left outer join or right outer join. So I'm using left outer join. Left outer join. Left outer join stage multi multi inputs. Okay. So save this. So here I will change the driving table. As a left outer join. Let's move to the out. So delete all the columns. Drag and drop. Click on OK. So now uh, no need to do all these exercises.
Time a bit again. Input output. Control A, drag and drop. Click on OK. Now run the job. So here, join is used uh, when you are handling the volume of data. Okay, so in real time. So if input data is more and uh, even reference data is more. So in the if that is the case, we will be using a uh, giant state. Okay, so on Monday's class, uh, we'll uh, continue with uh, lookup and match. Lookup and match, and uh, we'll see the differences between uh, join, match, and lookup. Okay. So this is the output. So here we have three records. So here it will compare with all the tables. So this uh, file one, left table will compare with the intermediate file one and this one. So that is the reason we are receiving uh, 21 records total. Okay. So this is the way to extract the data for the multiple uh, input files by using giant stage. Okay. So I'm very sorry today I have taken uh, 45 minutes extra. So any questions on uh, join and funnel? Uh, I'm sorry, Nisha, it is already late for you. Okay. 